and welcome dear learners today we are going to study about sexual offenses against children and their safety at school home and beyond we know children are the most vulnerable and easy target for the perpetrators of sexual crime according to united nations convention on the rights of child that is uncrc a child is someone who is below 18 years of age in a report published by ministry of women and child development india 2007 53% of children are sexually abused and this sexual abuse comes in a form of penetrative assault non penetrative assault sexual harassment and the use of child for pornographic purposes before we design out the responsibilities and duties of parents teachers community and government let's have a look on this statistics according to ministry of women and child development india 2007 100000 children go missing every year a million are the victims of trafficking 47% girls are married before reaching the age of 18 years which is the most prevalent form of sexual abuse and exploitation of girls according to unicef according to a report published by ncrb national crime record bureau 2018 109 children are sexually abused every day while there are plethora of laws and policies to address this issue the still their implementation on the ground is becoming challenging every day why we need to identify the hot spots of child abuses and determine duties of parents teachers school communities and government in their respective fields consider this as statistics on your screen most of the child abuses occur either at workplace or at homes according to a report published by ncrp 2018 25% of rape cases were reported to be committed by the employers at their workplace in 45.8% rape cases the perpetrators of the crime were either from family members someone in consanguinity or affinity from neighborhood or from the person someone they knew in such condition when there is chaos panic and fear regarding the insecurity of children let us design our duties and responsibilities cooperatively first let us discuss the role of schools since schools are the front line of child protection teachers have potential to teach students about sexual approachments you would have seen advertisement aired on television or smartphones teacher teaching about good touch and bad touch to small kids the teacher and school administration continuously watch students behavior and physical condition which may be helpful in forming to fight against sexual abuse there should be appointment of counselors for handling disclosures from students protocols for screening of computers and use of cell phone in school premises should be established installation of cctvs in corridors galleries classroom and every corner of school premises can help in strict vigilance over criminal offenses a screening of teaching staff non teaching staff school environment workers and visitors in schools should be done through cctv self defense and self confidence in children should be tutored through judo and awareness programs in schools now let's discuss the role of parents at home teach your children to build self protective behavior against sexual touches teach them to say no and immediately report to parent in such cases teach children to build strong self esteem and respect in school family and society always encourage your kids to talk about their day without hiding anything honestly answer the questions asked by your kids and impart sex education at home if not at school explore more about sexual abuses and be vital on such issues identify red flags that are indicators for commitment of sexual crimes for example 
adults may use toys chocolates or other things to allure children teach your children not to take such tempting things from known or unknown person outside home get acquainted with all the friends of your children and if possible establish rapport with their parents too teach your children that danger may come from someone trustworthy near and dear or someone living in neighborhood now let's discuss the role of community the first thing you need to do is know know about child's right child care helpline numbers websites and ensure child safety in your family neighborhood and community the second thing you need to do is talk break the silence on child abuse and talk openly on this issue so that information and awareness passes from person to person the third thing you need to do is observe observe children if they have any physical indication of sexual abuse the fourth thing you need to do is advocate advocate your friends school administration ngos government agencies to inculcate safety measure of children at their own levels and the fifth and last thing you need to do is involve involve in community programs and volunteer your time and resource working against child sexual abuse so dear learners we have discussed about sexual offenses against children and how to take safety measures at home school and beyond if you have any queries or suggestions please write it to me in the comment box below thank you so much for watching this video